Hey guys, Dean here from DGC Unboxings, um, and today we have the Rat 5 Gaming Mouse. Um, as you can see here on the box, it says a 5000 section DPI True Laser. Um, let me just focus in on that laser sensor. Um, if we go on the back of it, it's actually a really nice mouse, I really like this. Um, on the back is 18 user defined commands via 6 programmable buttons and 3 precision mode switches. Um, down here guys, it um, has a precision aim mode on the fly, sensitivity adjustment steadies your aim um, on the touch of a button, that's really good, um, also has aluminium chassis, um, must point out the Rat 3 um, has not got an aluminium sachet, eh, sachet, sachet, um, chassis, 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 <laughs> sorry guys, um, the Rat 7 and the Rat 9 has an aluminium chassis as well. Um, now we'll just get into unboxing it. Here we go guys, just unboxing it. And there you have it guys, there is a beautiful mouse right there. It's really, really nice design, it's got a texture on it, it's like grippy in a way. It's not like a plasticky shiny way, your hands just sweat all day on it and it feels really uncomfy. It's one of the mouses that can actually really grip it. Um, and it'll feel really really nice. Um, just take it out of here. There you see guys, it's got a braided wire as well, which is really nice. I really like that. I also have a gold plated USB on it there guys. Which is really nice to see. Usually you see the silver plated or just aluminium. Um, or the Americans aluminium. Um, but there it's gold plated. Um, let's see if we can actually get it out of the foam. Let it come out. Alright, there we go guys. Obviously I'm not going to remove that the now because that is where the laser is. Um, the 5600 DPI laser. Um, as you can see here, it's got mass control. Um, what it means by that is here, guys, um, if you take it off, it's actually got weights in there, so you can change the weights on it, um, which is really, really good in there. Um, if you like a heavy con uh, mouse, you can do that easily. If you've got a, um, if you like a light mouse, then there you go. It's actually, the now it's got a good weight, see, because of the chassis. It's actually a no bad weight, it's really good weight. Um, so it is guys, really nice weight, um, let me just test it on my table, um, actually has a really nice weight on it guys, there you go, that's the way it sits, it's really nice, um, on the side, that's your precision aim button there, the red one on the side guys, um, this here you can program this to basically whatever you want on the um, mouse to any other button, which is really nice, if I was going to use this guys, I'd probably use that for um, moving the aim, because you can move do you feel like it clicks a wee bit, so you could actually move it for your aim, or you could use it for firing guys, because each click equals one fire, so you could use it for rapid fire, but if you look closely down here guys, it says here, um, if I can focus in on it, it says, oh sorry this way, it says here guys, rapid fire right there guys, so I'm believing this would be a, like a rapid fire button. Which is actually quite nice. And um, bring it back down here. And here, guys, this is this button here. This is, this one right here. This is how you select all your modes. You click it in as you can hear it clicking. That's how you select all your modes. There is actually three different modes on it. And um, you can change every single mode the way you want it, which is really really good. Um, and down here, guys, is obviously your buttons left right. I'm sorry, back and forward. Um, and this bit here is really, really nice for this. For you guys, but I'm right handy, so I'll put my right hand on it. For you guys that like, like a... If your hands are big, like I've, my hands are really quite big compared to the mouse, guys, as you can see. Um, if you want the mouse to be bigger, all you do is click in this side bit here, guys. Um, so we lever down there. You click that in. And you can extend this bit. Oh, it's not going to extend for me. What's happening? Why is it not doing it? Yeah, in two seconds guys will be back, I just need to figure out how this is working. There we go guys, I actually found out how to do it. It's actually, a <laughs> I'm trying to do it with one hand, uh, one hand and it's actually really hard to do it with one hand. You need two hands to do it, you need one hand to hold the mouse and put it back. The reason that is, it's actually, it's not stiff in the way it's, you need to yank it, really yank it, but it is um, a wee bit harder to do with one hand because um, the clip actually holds it in really nicely. It just so it doesn't slip back and forward um, 
during playtime. So yeah, guys, that, this size actually fully what it is. This is probably the way I would need it because my hand sits on it perfectly fine. As you can see there, guys, actually sits right in the palm of my hand perfectly fine. This is probably the way I would need to use it. Um, and as I was talking about earlier on, these weights here, guys, you can change the weight on it. You actually do get extra weights with uh, with them. As I was checking um, the the instructions here, guys, the instructions are really nice to work with. Um, you go from obviously um, actually tell you go seven, as you can see, it goes seven. And if you wonder what the point is to it, um, down the bottom actually shows you what it's talking about. This is for the retaining arm. This is that retaining arm you need, which is under here, which is that we one there. That one slides in and out. Um, that actually shows you that you need to press in um, gently, as it says here, gently squeeze it. Um, now you're on this bit here, guys, I'm talking about these weights. You actually get extra weights with them. I didn't actually know that. I thought the weights were on it. You just take the weights away. But here we go, guys. You actually get this wee bit. There's that bit there. It's actually in the bottom of the box, guys. And you get this bit here. It's actually got more weights in it. She's actually quite nice, I didn't know they've done that. It actually gives you more weights to add on if you want to make it heavier or lighter. She's really, really nice. Um, basically, that's all it is for this mouse, guys. Um, this is Rat 5. It's a really, really nice mouse. I can't actually wait to actually plug it in and see how it um, works. Um, um, if you liked it, guys, like and favourite below. Um, also, add a comment if you want to ask me any questions about this mouse. I'll gladly answer every question you've got. And just, actually, I've got one more thing, guys. With this mouse, I actually got, um, was it, Damage Ink. I've actually got a promotional code for it as well. Um, same with, um, what's this one? Combat Pilot. You get another promotional code with it as well, guys. She's actually really nice. Um, that's it, guys. This has been Dean from DG, DGC Unboxings. Um, as always, like, favorite, subscribe. As I always say, peace out.